right, this is another in the series of videos for how to install a new Repetrel installation. Uh, we're on step number five, drivers. So on HighRail3D.net, under software and firmware, we're going to click on five drivers. And we're going to download the file. Okay, that was fast. We're going to double click it so that WinRAR opens it up. This has got an older recipe in there. We don't have to worry about that. We're going to take these files. First of all, I'm going to go to my C Repetrel directory. Let's go to C Repetrel. And I made a folder called Run Me on New Install. I've got some old files in there we're going to take out. So you're going to make a new folder. I recommend calling it Run Me on New Install inside Repetrel. We're going to grab these one through nine and pop them in there. And you can take the recipes also if you want, but I'm working on new recipes this week. So by the time you see this video, there'll be a newer recipe um, collection for you to download. Now we know that not all these programs are going to run on, their, on all the different environments. In fact, there's no environment they'll all run on. But if you try to run each of them as administrator and just ignore the ones that don't seem to do anything or like this, the ones that outright fail, by the time you get through step nine, you'll have done your complete install. So even though it seems like we're dumbing it down and we are, just run each one in order as administrator. Some of them have more steps than others. Sometimes you have to click an agreement. And sometimes you'll actually be prompted to upgrade your, uh, some DLLs or some C++ libraries or something. Go ahead and do that if it prompts you to. Okay, this is already installed, so I'm picking the repair. Just in case there's anything wrong with it, it'll fix it. Okay, finished. Now I'm running the same one for 32-bit. I know it sounds like we're telling you to do stupid stuff that you don't need to do, but if you will do each of these in order before you call us for help, you probably won't wind up having to call us for help. Here's the redistributables. Okay, that one doesn't work here. And lastly, we're going to do the x86 version. Okay, so that's it for step five, the drivers. Next video, we'll move on to the firmware. See you in a few.